ready to kick it off here. The north is in the white with blue numerals. The south will kick off. They are in the red with the white numerals. Of course, everybody wearing the starting quarterback, Deacon Aldridge, out of Hartzell High School. He's lined up in the shotgun, and he'll throw a backwards pass. They're going to throw one across to Kalen Campbell out of Hoover, and they're going to go no huddle. So a second and ten, the ball at the 45-yard line. Just underway here, the north-south game. This time the handoff will go to Kalen Campbell, and he'll pick up a couple of yards. Again, ball at the 47-yard line. Wide outs, three of them to the left, one to the right. Single set. And the Statue of Liberty play, that's going to net close to a first down. This time the back comes in motion, the receiver comes across and gets it from behind. It's just a different variation, but very quickly. They'll quickly run down the north starters on offense. I mentioned Deacon Aldridge is the starting quarterback. Kevin Wright is starting at running back. Also at running back it is number 36. Oh, excuse me, that is Kevin Wright. Wideouts are Mitch Stoltz and Harry Mason and Kalen Campbell, who will also line up in the backfield. And across the line, Hunter White, Eddie Foster, Lauren Carmichael is the center, Trevecco Roberts is at guard, and Jordan Shelton at the tackle. First and 10, another first down run. Down to the 30-yard line. Worth moving the football here early. As we quickly... 29 yards for the score. And the North just went every play with the exception of one to Kalen Campbell. And here's that run, excuse me, here's the pass. You see they're going to go left. Everything reverses the field. Campbell finds himself wide open in the flat. Nobody anywhere around. He's got a good seven yards from any defender even close. Then he decides to leap from about the three. Look at the south offense. Field. And he's got wide outs on either side on first and ten. Instead, the handoff will go to number 30. That is Tyler Boyd out of Russellville High School. He'll pick up about for the 26. Interesting substitution by that contest. So a second and six. They'll throw the screen. And getting good yardage. And still going. That is Leland Malone from Gadsden City. He's run out of bounds after a pickup of about 35 yards. He'll get big first down for the North. And some people think this play is the easiest play to defend. You get the flanker screen out, but when you get a receiver blocking that time, like the North has, it frees your other runner up, and he tiptoes down the sideline, able to break a tackle, and then finds the open field. Oh, he had a defender behind him, just like Stiff Arm come, but just kept pushing the ball. He had great blocks downfield by a couple of other players. I don't think I've seen a Stiff Arm without somebody to Stiff Arm. First and ten, and the handoff goes to Tyler Jackson out of Muscle Shoals. Jackson again gets outside. He's got the first down and more inside the 25 down 20. He is inside the 20 before brought down. Boy, great speed by the young man out of Muscle Shoals High School. And good seal blocks that time by the north offensive line. Hunter White with a good pancake right about the 30, uh, I'd say the 30-yard line to be able to free his runner up. And the north goes inside one play, outside the next. The first and 10, Willie Dennis on that tackle at the 20. Play action over the middle, or excuse me, in the flat. And here's that play fake again on the touchdown. Great play action fake. Tailback sold it. Quarterback sold it. Wide open in the flat that time for the easy touchdown for the North. Just waiting on the offensive player to bring the ball right. If he can stay on his feet. The interception on the board on the trap run of about six or seven yards. He'll get to the 20. Hope you'll hang around at halftime. We'll have the Carver marching band on the field. As another nice run. And out of bounds. To play under two minutes to play, you're taught. Tuck the ball and go if you don't see a receiver. And that's exactly what he did. He went straight to the sideline. 15 yards on the play. First and 10. And that'll be a first down for the North, that gives me an opportunity to tell you about a rule change coming up just inside the 20-yard line. And here we go again, five seconds. Maybe the North tries a field goal here on the last play, or do they try to throw one into the end zone? Minutes into the first quarter, 
as the pass to Kalen Campbell from Deacon Aldridge. That was good for 29 yards. The dive into the end zone, the point after, good for a 7-0 lead for the North. They didn't waste any time on the second touchdown. It came about three minutes later, two and a half, as Jackson Richard with the pass 20 yards for the touchdown as the nice juke by DeMontez Terry. And again, the point after by Pedroza made it 14 to nothing. And then maybe the biggest highlight of the day, this interception from defensive lineman Devontae Williams. 45 yards, he'll ramble for here at halftime. Your statistics, the north, it was about even up until that left to the south of this game. You know what? I think you're right. I'll, I'm going to check that. I think I could find that information, but I believe you're correct. I think he was an assistant. Second and ten, and a run will go for about four, five. Passing down for the north, and a completion. Nice pass. Aldridge, and that will be enough for the first down. And here you'll see it again. Quick look outside. No hesitation whatsoever. You know where he's going with it. He's got two receivers. He chooses the one he wants to go. It's not quite enough. All right, third and five for the north. Aldridge will keep it himself. Can he get to the pylon? He gets and it will be a first down carry for Tyler Boyd. So it's for the north, and they'll run a little bit more clock. And here comes a flag. Oh, my goodness. I think, I think this is going to go against the south, and I think it's going to be a major distance penalty. This game. Handoff. Again, not doing anything fancy here. The North keeping it. The first quarter that we had. When you're down 20. And his staff, and we talked about this staff, Ben Blackman, who, of course, played here on this field at Lee High School. Now the coach at Gulf Shores. Also St. Paul's Tom Pinkston. Boy, this is a group of guys that a lot of them played on this field. Billy Gresham coaches here every year. As we watch the touchdown by the North, the first one of the game, we'll check these final plays, the final scoring plays for the North. Again, 21-0 scoring the first three touchdowns of the game. A couple of touchdown passes early as this one taken in by Terry. And then the South giving one up. A 45-yard interception return by Devontae Williams, who may be the South MV, excuse me, the North MVP, but then the South went to work, first getting the touchdown from Mararian McRae of Clark County. That got the South on the scoreboard. The 20-yard field goal was good to make it 21-10. And then the final score coming on the touchdown late with Stewart. Actually, this is the interception that went for a touchdown. That would cut the lead to 21-16. The two-point try, no good. But then the play of the game right now, the pass from Stewart, or excuse me, to Stewart from Kramer. A beautiful play. Great catch.